Sometimes I pick up an instrument. It could be a very expensive vintage instrument. It could be also a, a very cheap instrument. And there's like magic about the instrument. And as soon as I put it in my hand, something comes out. When I was making my record, I wanted to make something that was very simple, uh, not flashy in any way very pure um, and the reason for that is that I was listening to other other records that coming were coming out at the same time uh, especially to other bass players records and I noticed that a lot of these records were based on technique and the way they played on their instrument and I wanted to do something that was a little broader than that I wanted to make a, I really didn't care if it was me playing bass or not me playing bass, I just wanted to make the, the music sound the way I wanted to, it to sound. Something about capturing a moment, uh, which is a tricky thing because, and a lot of musicians will tell you this, is that recreating a moment is virtually impossible. So you have to very cleverly, in a clever way, you have to find um, a way to recreate the conditions for a moment to arise. So to recreate those kind of moments, it's the way you speak with musicians. It's, you know, you say this to the musician, but you won't say that to the musician. So you have to recreate conditions that will allow you to bring a moment. And the best moments, but the best moments, are when you pl press play on a recording and you feel the light in the room changes. Something about the magic, everything just flows in the right way. And it's, again, it's not something you can make happen, but what you can do is, is help the conditions for it to maybe happen. There's something super physical about music for me. Um, when I was uh, very, very young, I learned to speak kind of late, but I learned to walk super early. And what I would do for eight hours a day is I would walk in the living room of my parents with uh, the turntables. I mean, there was records back then. And the music was playing and I would walk in a circle for hours. And, I mean, until the, the side of the turntable stopped and then the needle would fly off the thing and I would sit down on the floor and I would start to cry. My mother would come, she would flip the record, put the needle on, I would stand up and I would keep doing the circles for hours. I would do this for eight hours a day. And I think what I liked, I liked the high from, from running in circles but also the music. There was something super physical about it. 
also when I play, a lot of people that saw me play live say this, like the way I move is kind of unique, it's kind of special. Uh, people say it's very animated. For me, physical, it's super physical. Music is super, super physical. It's not the quantity, it's the quality that matters. I find this phrase a little tricky because, um, well, people have their taste up here and they have their ability down here. In order to get your ability to match your taste, you need to create a lot of things. You need to do a lot. Um, you, when you think quality, you get afraid, you get stuck you're in, in the same position. When you think quantity, you create a lot of things, hence your ability automatically will rise to your taste. So what I would do is I would switch the phrase around. It's not the quality that matters, it's the quantity.